I'm Adam Handling, head chef at restaurant Adam Handling at Caxton in Westminster. So the first dish that I'm going to show you is uh, nitro salmon. It basically starts of uh, curing Scottish salmon uh, with equal quantities salt, sugar and lemon zest. And then after that we dust it with fennel pollen and then we slowly cook it in, um, in a water bath, 45 degrees, with olive oil. So on the plate we have the salmon, uh, sweet and sour wasabi, burnt lemon, some jasmine pickled apples, some uh, compressed peas done in dill oil, 14-year-old uh, caviar, some uh, sea herbs, so sea purslane, samphire, and a little bit of nasturtium flowers. Uh, the fennel pollen is from uh, Wild Harvest, along with the um, forage stuff, so our sea, our sea herbs, our purslane, samphire, they're all from Wild Harvest. So when the salmon dish is finished, the chef will serve that dish himself to the table, and he'll put the frozen blossoms with nitrogen on the plate to give it a, a, another temperature, another dimension to the dish. So there we have nitro salmon with sweet and sour wasabi and peas. So the next dish will be lamb, artichokes, sour cream and garlic. Very simple, roasted off, foaming butter, um, rosemary inside there until it's nicely caramelised, kitchen oven then rested. Other parts going to on it will be salt baked artichokes with the skin on as well. That as soon as they come out of the oven you just break them in half and you squeeze them and you deep fry them just so they're crispy. We dress the plate with the sour cream first and the black garlic very rustically and then we cut the lamb in again rustically not precise because the idea is textures when that's placed on side there then we add the artichokes that have been cooked in whey uh, we add the crispy artichokes as well and um, little pickled burnt onions that we add to that too then after that we dress it with the dress it with a nice lamb sauce light lamb sauce nothing heavy finish it with some spring onion oil and some herbs wild garlic so there we have uh, lamb artichokes sour cream and garlic The final dish will be um, caramel, chocolate and blackcurrants. The fundamental of this dish is about uh, sweet and sour. So we have a whipped caramel sauce, uh, caramel twills that's had chocolate put through the twills as well, melted into a rustic shape, you know, my food is natural. And then on, on there there'll be um, a blackcurrant gel, blackcurrants that have just been cooked in their own juices, so they're nice and sour, chocolate arrow, uh, a chocolate sponge, uh, finished with a little bit of fennel pollen on there as well and a blackcurrant ice cream. The chocolate that I'm using is Coco Berry, love it, and on that dish there are three different types of Coco Berry chocolates. Uh, they are always consistent, amazing and for unique flavours, perfect for what we do. So there we have uh, caramel, chocolate and blackcurrant. <laughs>